Yes, you read the title correctly. This is the world's best beginner trainer, Warbird. <laughs> That's a bit of an oxymoron, and yes, I do hate that word, uh, but there are many reasons why this airplane shines above most of the rest to make it a good trainer Warbird. Not just for the real world purposes, but in the RC world, this one very specifically. In today's video, we're gonna kinda focus on the beginner and talk about why this thing shines as such a great beginner warbird and uh, we'll put it in the air and focus on some of those things as we're flying so let's stop gabbing on the ground and get it in the air let's face it everybody wants a warbird over something kind of like cartoony or most people like the Aero Scout. so when you want your first plane you want it to look more like a real plane and I get the appeal of the looks of something like this uh, over like the Aero Scout. Abby are you ready for takeoff? Ready. We have safe on and that's another reason this plane is great for beginners. We have safe stabilization that doesn't let the airplane flip over. See that right there? That's as far as it'll let us turn on either side, not letting the plane flip over. A lot of times a person on their takeoff will push that wing over, it completely rolls over and then they just crash into the ground because they don't know how to react. And that's okay, that's very normal uh, for that to happen. This plane won't let that happen. So it's a really good trainer airplane because of safe technology. Now, some of the more experienced pilots right now would, uh, what I'm doing is trimming my plane so it flies a little smoother. So I don't have to think about the controls as much while I'm flying. A more experienced pilot would say, well, Nate, there's a, there's a lot of planes out there that have stabilization and that's very true. But one thing where this plane and this brand shines over some of the competition is the fact that it is bind and fly or B and F. That means that you can take uh, your universal radio, the one that we have linked in the description box below, take this plane out of the box, 10, 15 minutes, have it built and press a single button and have it bound up to your radio and not have to do any advanced programming or uh, something that might frustrate a person that just wants to get out and fly. So safe technology paired with the fact that this is bind and fly, which is rare compared to other companies. Other companies don't generally do this. They are plug and play. That means you have to put your own receiver in, plug all the stuff in where it needs to go and know how to program that to your radio. To a lot of us, that's not very difficult to do, but if you're just getting in the hobby and you want to experience flying, that, cause, uh, that can be a little more difficult and slow the fun down. Just trimming up the plane a little bit more. Also guys, the landing gear on this plane. Now, again, an experienced pilot might have more to complain about, but this, we're focusing on the beginner. You see those landing gear. A more experienced pilot might say, I want those landing gear to go up in the plane, to be retractable, and it looks so much better. But a beginner doesn't necessarily want that because then there's more to break. This landing gear is more robust. It is very forgiving compared to retractable landing gear. And yes, you can take off and land in very tall grass. You don't have to have an asphalt runway. Uh, you want to have forgiving landing gear to do takeoffs and landings when you're learning to fly because they're not all going to look that good. You know, they're not going to be silky smooth. And if they are, uh, pat yourself on the back and go buy a lottery ticket because you were lucky if you're a beginner pilot and it looked like that. <laughs> a lot of times they're gonna be a lot more bouncy, less forgiving. Um, this plane also has the ability to fly on two different power level of batteries. You have 3S and 4S. All that means is 3S is less powerful and cheaper. 4S is more powerful, is more cells or more voltage uh, and costs a bit more. Today I'm flying on a 4S battery so we can get full speed passes like this. And snap rolls like this, which are very slow because this is a docile flyer. So from just the looks to the assembly time and ease of assembly, to the limited functions where this plane just has flat or no, no flaps, has ailerons, elevator, rudder, and throttle, and a safe switch versus a plane that has retractable landing gear and flaps and lights. We're keeping it simple. This plane keeps it simple, which is good for the beginner, uh, but it's a very capable airplane. So people ask me all the time, Nate, what is a great looking uh, beginner airplane that I could fly, but doesn't look like the Aero Scout? I just don't. I just, can't stand the way it looks, 
this is the plane for you. I've actually been texting someone about this recently, one of our top tier Patreon supporters who are having this conversation. What would be a good next level airplane for me to pick up? And this is definitely a really good option. One of the best, in fact, possibly the best, just because it keeps it simple. And you know what they're doing that a lot of companies don't do, and even this company doesn't ever do it, other than this time. Oh, trying to fight through that knife edge, kind of fell out of the knife edge. It's got this little pull tab on the back of the canopy to help open the canopy, and I heard it flapping in the wind, and it kind of freaked me out a little bit. It does seem a little long. It's a, I think you a could trim long. that up. <laughs> or just take it off completely, but it's on there if you want it to be. Um, this company includes a second propeller with the airplane, which I think is fantastic. So they're, they're truly marketing it at like, in my opinion, I don't know if they really say this, but in my opinion, it is a beginner friendly, beginner-esque airplane because of that second prop. You know, when we're new, we snap props all the time. Knock on wood, unless I have a bad crash, I'm usually not snapping props that often. So it's really nice that they think about the beginner and include another prop. It's just a really good looking airplane. It flies really well for a warbird. It's very forgiving. The bright yellow makes it super beginner friendly. Easy to see. You guys can see we're picking up some winds and getting a little bit of uh, gusts here, making it get knocked around a little bit. But at any time you panic, look how good this works, guys. Watch, I'm gonna put the plane upside down. I'm doing a new maneuver and I panic. I throw safe on and that was completely hands-free and I got a little climb in that. But very, very hands-free safety, uh, safety net that we have. I mean, I can be at any weird angle. I can be going for a loop and just panic. You know what? I'm very uncomfortable doing a loop. I throw safe on, leaving my throttle at about half or so, or even zero throttle right there, and it'll save it. I've always wondered too, Abby, does safe work at zero throttle? So we're up high enough to test this. I'm just going to put the plane upside down. Zero throttle, safe on. I'm at zero throttle and it worked. I'm going to put the plane nose up, zero throttle, zero throttle guys. Here's zero throttle, not touching anything, safe on. That's awesome. That's so cool. So it does work at zero throttle. I've always wondered. I've never, <laughs> never done anything with it. Let's see if I can do one of your favorite maneuvers if it looks good on this. Probably won't be very fast, but let's try. Nope, not at all. So we're just going to pull out. Nice <laughs> spiral. Down. Yeah. The old death spiral. Yeah, really fun to fly. It's got a good roll rate, which is really nice and scale looking. The loops, there's no weird tendencies with that loop. Pulls a loop really well. It's just a good looking plane. Even on this overcast day, we can see that bright yellow really well. Uh, it keeps it simple, but also there's a lot of advancements with the technology of safe in there. AS3X, which is another thing that just helps keep it nice and smooth, and that really robust and forgiving landing gear. Uh, but it's also it's also just fun to fly. So it's not just beginner friendly. I mean, I'm out here flying it and having a good time, and uh, anyone could enjoy it. But I think I think really it's all about that person that has maybe one or two airplanes or maybe none and they want to get into flying airplanes but they just can't stand the way the Aero Scout looks and maybe some other basic trainer planes. They want a Warbird uh, to be a little beginner friendly and that's where this comes in and shines. I hate the word oxymoron just because of the last part of the word but it really is the you know a trainer warbird because they just don't have really good beginner tendencies a lot of times they wingtip stall they have horrible pull when you take off especially tail draggers and when you land them they can be a pain but you guys witnessed it and i haven't flown this in forever uh, my landings were pretty smooth even with that um, stiff land I mean, those are stiff wire wheels there's there's nothing forgiving on that those are pretty smooth landings and i'm happy with that and yes, I have flown a lot of planes this year, so they should look halfway decent, uh, but it's forgiving, and that's the really nice thing. You know, if you have hard landing, they're probably not going to bend, especially won't break, but if they do, they should bend, and they'll bend right back into place. They're also very easily replaceable. Even if you snap the plastic housing, which I've never done, but if you did on this on a really bad crash, you can just buy a replacement plastic housing and put that landing gear back in there. It's just really forgiving. It snaps into place and, and builds really quickly. Uh, and there's one screw holding this whole thing together, the, the main wing. There's two tabs that go up in that plane, let's see, in the back. And there's one screw holding that on. 
and two wires uh, plug into the wires already existing in your receiver when you get it. It is a very easy plane to put together, a very forgiving plane, easy to see, and I think it looks really good too. So I'm, I'm basically dubbing this plane the best beginner warbird plane, at least of the year. Uh, because because it is it just it's a no-brainer to me there's other great ones out there that i think a person should add to their collection that are like really awesome 3s planes from you know this brand and other brands that that are out there but this is it guys it's a home run no-brainer best beginner warbird and for today getting to come out here and fly despite the weather going south now it's starting to get cold and windy and it makes these videos a bit more difficult to record we're still grateful i'm grateful for today and just being alive and sharing this experience with you guys for that i thank god remember guys i know a lot of beginners will be watching this video uh first time flyers maybe second time flyers we'll have this plane linked in the description box below it's nice because it's a convenient place for you guys to get those links and pull everything up that i'm flying on the radio that i fly on the batteries etc charger and stuff uh, but also it's very important because you can support our channel just by clicking that link. It's going to bring you to the same place you would have bought the plane anyway. It won't cost you a single extra penny, but instead of, you know, the big corporation or whatever making more money, a little bit will go to me and Abby, which uh, provides this free RC content on YouTube. So hopefully if you enjoy it, that's a great way to support us and liking the video and all that good stuff too. I also want to say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because without you guys and your amazing direct support, we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it. That's as simple as it is. It's because of your support. We know that you guys enjoy these videos and so we stay motivated to come out and record them and have fun flying and sharing these experiences with you guys. So thank you for your support and letting us know what our videos mean to you. Thank you. Well now this plane has been on the channel quite a few times, but it's been a while. So if you guys want to see us, maybe Abby, my wife, flying this plane, which she absolutely loves. It is my loves. plane. It's her plane. <laughs> I just said, Abby, we gotta get it out and fly it. She said, you know what? I'm glad we got this out to fly. The next time, she's going to fly it on the <laughs> channel again. But until then, we'll have an older video of my wife, Abby, flying this. It's totally worth checking out. She's much more a beginner than me, but I say intermediate now. Anyway, that video will be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there.